friends we are going to discuss about manufacturing process of connecting rod my self roy sarjar of kadam from rajaram babu institute of technology islampur my pr number is uh, 2256007 title manufacturing process of connecting rod introduction what is connecting rod connecting rod what contrasts connect the piston to the crankshaft in a reciprocating piston engine what does it do transmit the explosive force of piston to the crankshaft and the transmit the rotary force of crankshaft to piston to compress and explosive fuel second function the connecting rod has two principal tasks to fulfill it connects the piston to the crankshaft and sees its lower or big end is attached to an offset crank pin on the crankshaft it converts linear movement of the piston into rotary movement of the crankshaft by doing so it transmits the linear force of the piston into rotary force or torque the connecting rod is exposed to very several loads combustion gas pressure acting downwards on the piston exerts very heavy force along the connecting rod since the piston speed in continuously varying the high acceleration and disacceleration forces which rather must be withstood in the form of tensile and compressive loads on the connecting rod furthermore the oscillating movement of the connecting rod round the gudgeon pin axis introduces powerful bending force into the rod and since the rod is fairly long is also subject to bucking stresses construction this is this is actual diagram of construction of connecting rod construction diagram construction content of a construction first is the rod the rod is normally has cross section of a circle or an oval for the low and medium speed engines for the high speed engine the rod has a section of i shape there is a drill hole along the road to feed lubricating oil and reduce the weight of the connecting rod second is a small end the small end and the rod are normally folded in one piece the top of the small end is drilled a hole to feed the lubricating oil for the cooling purpose of the piston third big end in low speed engines the big end of connecting rod normally has separate construction and fast end with the rod by bolts the big end includes upper and lower part the upper part is provided with the secured pin for locating the big end and the rod the lower part is made with straightening edge to increase the rigidity assembling surface between parts of the big end may be provided rigidity assembling surface between parts of the big end may be provided with seams for adjusting oil clearance in case of thick wall bearing shell assembling surface between upper part and the rod may also be provided with thin seams to adjust the height of combustion chamber for v shape connecting rod for a high engine in same cases the assembling surface between two parts of big end makes with the center line of the connecting rod and angle is 30 to 45 degree or 60 degree it permit to reduce the connecting force in v shape engine the two similar connecting rod can be fitted on one crank pin or the main connecting rod is installed on the crank pin while the auxiliary connecting rod is fitted on the big end of the main connecting rod diagram of v shape connecting rod for fifth is the bearing shell bearing shell of the small end is made either in one piece by two separate halves bearing shell shell is pressed into small end and fixed to prevent it rotating and moving construction when connecting rod connect to piston and crankshaft manufacturing process of connecting rod material used connecting rod can be made from various grades of structural steel aluminum and titanium steel rods are the most widely produced and used as connecting rods their application are best used for daily 
drivers and endurance racing due to their high best used for daily lives and endurance racing due to their high strength and longevity the only problems with using steel rods is that the material is ex extremely heavy which consumes more power and adds stress to the rotating assembly in this work below men mentioned material is are taken as connecting rod material and analysis are performed carbon steel high strength low alloy steel corrosion resistance high strength low alloy steel and quenched and tempered alloy steel manufacturing process contained of first is the casting casting cast in sand small little seam on both sides of the parting edge used in speed motor cap in pin and is fast and with bolts on maximum rpm is 6500 second forging thick seam on both sides used in speed motors bolt nut assembly used in engines for rpm range about 5500 to 6800 or further third is a forged built rod machined from a solid piece of steel no parting edge bolts are screwed to hold the cap on strongest con rods 1200 hp engine for centered connecting rod powered in metal pressed together and then put into an oven where it the centered that means granules are melted together and forms the rods force analysis of manufacturing process of connecting rod first is the grass pressure act at the time of expansion force acting on piston gauge transferred on small end of connecting rod second is the inertia forces act after the completion of exhaust due to vacuum generation suction takes place due to these forces selection of material of connecting rod medium carbon steel carbon 35% to 45% for industrial engine alloy steel nickel chromium or chromium molybdenum for automobile aircraft engine lubrication of connecting rod the connecting rod connects the crankshaft to the piston it will encounter high dynamical loads from the rapid back and forth motion the length of the rod is between the two centers bearing cups is used for low friction rotation and oil channel is drilled between the two centers this channel can also have various configurations initially the oil is pumped to main journal bearing the area where crankshaft sits on the cylinder block the crankshaft has dedicated holes the engine oil flows through crankshaft internal more and reaches the big end bearing hydrodynamic non contact bearing is used at the connecting rod small end and big end as well as in the main bearing for this bearing to work a constant supply of oil is needed the bearing have a open crank track in the center that goes partly or all around its circumference